Hola everybody, it's me Wookie and I'm back with another Geek Grand Order video and I hope you're ready for another adventure, cause I sure am. Today's video is of course going to be me using everyone's favorite Lucha 11 goddess to beat up this raid, which I believe is called... It doesn't matter what your name is. And we're still in the APOG event. I've already finished all the Dracula coins, or Dracula coins, whatever you want to call them. We're at the he Heaven's Field Mimicry. I'm basically just grinding out QP while I can, while we have raids, and then after that, that's an extended break from Fake Grand Order, because <laughs> it's been way too long. I need to go play other games pretty soon. Oh, man. But yeah, today's video, I'm going to be beating them up. Pow, pow, pow. Hitting them up. Left side, right side. Suplex. The... There we go. Okay, and we have the perfect rotation, so he's dead. Perfect. Like I said, I've said countless times, um, she may not look it because she's single target uh, NP, but Quetzalcoatl has the ability to kill the entire team in one go. That's just the pure power of Lucha on her side. I really shouldn't be interrupting her while she's... Oh, laying. Hit him with the... Wait for it. This is so good. <laughs> Never not funny. Uh... I'm a Bryce, are you not? You might actually win. Never mind. Tres, dos, uno. Even though it's supposed to go one, two, three, not three, two, one. It's fine. I accept her for what she is. Which is not fully understanding what's going on. To be fair, some of that is because, like, obviously, the people at Fake Grand Order, not a lot of them actually watch Lucha. Or I assume like, no, I've never seen it in any known wrestling publication every anywhere where you say three two one when you beat someone. You always go one, two, three, ding 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 ding, and then you ring the bell. If you go three, two, one, then at the one it makes it seem like um you're supposed to go zero. You're counting down. Um, but no, it makes more sense because you're at, when you start the pin, you're at zero. And then when you hit the first, that's one, two, three, ding, 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 ding. And your new heavyweight champion is Triple H again. Bow down to the king. At that point, I'm making some wrestling reference that you may or may not get. It's fine. <sighs> this is very bad. Well, it's fine. Mucha, mucha. She said it again. It sounded so nice. Said it twice, baby. Hello. There we go. Give him a little bit of that. I'm using a friend waiver for the most part because my waiver is already at max bond, and Shakespeare isn't. So there you go. I always try and when farming get maximum efficiency. I'm also gonna put the Buster card for her last because I'm pretty sure it deals more damage and if any and somehow this thing survives, which he shouldn't, there's no way in hell he survives this. He should die one hit. Thank you. Deals nothing. And if we had a crit we'd be able to kill but we don't have a crit. You know what, I think I might change from, hmm, we'll see. I might change what um, Shakespeare cur is currently rocking, just because I feel like um, critting might be a little bit better when I get into scenarios like that, but I'll see. Let me just quickly finish him off. Three turns. Master. Good job, bro. Hit him with them legs. Again, that's not... What is she even saying with that, actually? Let me look up the hell my girl is saying when she's saying 3-2-1. 
Because I know for sure she's not saying all the match is done. Because that doesn't make any sense. This is a good song. Alright. Back to the serious stuff. Spirited Origin Dress. Go here, voice. Let's see, should be under Victory? Oh, she's saying gracias. Okay. Okay, so she is, unfortunately, just getting that wrong. You don't say 3, 2, 1, you go 1, 2, 3. It's fine. Listen, she's learning, she's new to the lucha. When you're a god, you don't really think. I think that's accurate. Um, you don't really think about what mortals do. She understands that wrestling is lovely, fantastic, and loved in Mexico. What she doesn't understand is the rules. Because she's a giant, um, beautiful goddess of death. Even though I think she's not actually the goddess of death. I forget, what is Quetzalcoatl? I want to say, like, Quetzalcoatl is actually, like, the god of something. I can't remember. You think, like, the rainbow god? I remember there's a lot. Like, I say, like, oh, I don't think I don't think she's a god of destruction. I also completely forgot to switch out her CE, but I'll do it next, next round. Um... But she does a lot of destruction in myth. And just in general, she blows up a lot of shit. Well, he, I think. Well, actually, I don't remember if they ever give actual genders to the gods in Aztec mythology. Actually, they do. They totally do. I just don't remember. Um, I don't know. Could be anyway. Let's get back into it. I'm not making fun of her. I love her. Don't judge my love. You need more hype. God, never not funny when she picks up this gigantic thing and slams it. Ah, oh, it's such a good NP. It's gonna be a shame, and by shame I mean beautiful, when they upgrade her Noble Phantasm. Uh, I mean when they give her an animation update uh, to make it look more like the Babylon version of Quetzalcoatl. Uh, I'm sure her animations will be beautiful. But I actually really like her current animation where she does that NP. So my solution is brand new Quetzalcoatl. Let's make it um, Avenger. There you go. I don't think she would be an Avenger though. She'd have to maybe Berserker. Yeah, Berserker would be good. <gasps> Berserker Quetzalcoatl. I would love it. I wouldn't be able to summon her because she lives in JP and that would take two years. And trying to get this uh, Quetzalcoatl almost killed me almost killed me from enjoying this game. Okay, so instead of this, I think I'm going to give you Golden Catch as the carp. Where is it? Where are you, carp? Magic carp, carp, carp. There it is. Perfect. The reason is, is that all I need is the crit stars that are summoned, basically, when this starts, and any amount of them will go straight to Quetzalcoatl because she's a writer. And her only companions are two casters, so they get zero crit stars. Because raiders are extremely greedy when it comes to crit stars. I think their crit weight, crit, crit weight, crit weight, crit weight is the um, heaviest of any uh, of any other unit out there. Replicating some. Hello, sir. There we go. See? Even though I said that they did get. Wow, why did they get some? Really shouldn't get any, but whatever. Hmm. Oh, I forgot. Oh, that's right. They're not gonna get any because that completely gives them all to her, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I completely forgot she does that. I'm like, oh, that seems like too much, but it should be fine. Then she's like, no. I get them all. I tried to do a Quetzalcoatl accent, and, like I tried to make it sound at, like a Hispanic woman that didn't have um, a lot of English to her, and then I ended up doing uh, Mario at the end, because I was like, that's a little bit too close to home. I am Mexican, but I can't make fun of all the beautiful Mexican women out there who are, like, English is not their first language. <laughs> oh, I love you so much, Quetz. 
You're so beautiful, and you're so strong. Mm. It's a shame that you aren't loved more by everyone, and that the JP side of the game ignored your beautiful new um, event for some bullshit that no one cares about. AKA their story. Fuck that. You deserved better. Man. No, I'm angry. Should be fine. And by fine, I mean anger inducing. Uh, one more. If I wait two minutes, I will go there. Hmm. Nah, it's fine. I'll use two bronze apples. What am I gonna do? Save one? In those two minutes, I'll be done. Alright, let's go in. Again, hoping for the perfect setup. And by perfect, I mean anything that gives Quetz two cards. She doesn't need more than two. She gets three that actually can kind of hurt. Um, she gets one. Unless it's Buster, Buster might be able to completely obliterate it. But if it's Arts or anything else, then no, it can't. Man. I feel like someone's here. But... Mm. Remember what I said? That's bad. It's really bad. Excuse me. And we'll just. Mm. I mean, that's not gonna kill him, so it's fine. They're not gonna kill me on one hit, so I can spare some time. <laughs> Wouldn't it have been funny if it one shot Waver when I said that? Alright. That's better. You gotta tr put your trust and faith in the Mucho. Once you've embraced the Mucho, then you can really be a full grown man or woman. Let's go. Oh, damn you, stupid ass. Um, Shakespeare taking that 10%. They could have gone to any of the other ones. That's a shame. I don't think she's going to be able to kill. She needed more crit, and that was a very bad first turn. Damn, should have just gone in. It's alright. It's alright. She'll still kill. Damn. <laughs> Never mind. Damn. Never doubt. Who am I to doubt, El Dandy? And the answer is, I'm not, no one to doubt. The dandiest servant at, in, the, in all of Fate Grand Order. That's the end of today's video. I hope you liked it. I just wanted to grind some more. I don't know if anyone likes these kind of videos. But if you do, remember to leave a like. Because uh, there's a lot of grinding in Fate. And sometimes I use different units. But for the most part, I like using the same basic ones. AKA Quetzalcoatl. I built her up, damn it, so she should be used in every single time I can. Anyway, that's the end of today's video. I hope you liked it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. And happy grinding.